I want the life we've been dreaming about since we were kids. That's the problem. We've been dreaming about that since we were kids. And we're adults now. We need to start being practical. Okay. I don't know what you mean by that. I don't want to ever be the reason for any of your regrets, Ig. But how many times have we talked about getting married? I mean, how many times have we talked about what we're going to name our kids? I'm not even sure if I want to have kids. What? Well, you sounded pretty into it the last 8,000 times we talked about it. Pleasure. Now, yes. let's cut to the chase. Daniel. Yes. I've heard you're working on getting a driver's license. Yes. Is I this am. an English one or American? An English one. But it works over here, right? Do yeah. I have to get another one? You, no, you can use it if you're oh, okay. visiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm getting an English one. I, uh, I've started taking lessons at the moment, mainly actually because of this film, because I had to drive a lot in this film, and it became a problem because I don't. Uh, <laughs> That's so scary. I'm driving anyone, constantly in the movie. I'm driving constantly in the movie, and anyone who got in the car with me, I had to be like, okay, just so you know, um, I don't have a license, so, you're, you know, you're at your own risk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. well, we, both, we both had, like... We've, we've both had success recently, because you... Yeah, you I passed my permit test, too. I also don't have a licence. We passed our theory test on the, our permit test. Same day. Same on the same day. day. So we're, same we've day. done very well. We're, we're be prepared. We'll be on the road soon. Who do yeah. you think is going to make it on the road first, though? He's already booked his test. Yeah, yeah, but I haven't even taken a driving we don't... lesson yet. Yeah, you haven't taken a lesson? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Baby steps. Yeah. Are you, we'll doing, are you doing automatic? Yes. Oh, yeah. there's, no to, no. there's no need to do a manual. No. Daniel, <laughs> you and Juno have amazing on-screen chemistry. Yeah. You clearly have great mm -hmm. chemistry here, too. But I heard that part of it was because of your joke telling, and that played a big part of it. Uh, well, um... <laughs> no, you have to take serious credit for that. This man has more jokes stored in that memory than I have ever ever witnessed in my life. Except, except that this morning, except... Except now I can't remember any of them, apart from your favourite favorite one. one. But the, the basically, the first scene of the movie is we're both lying on this blanket in the woods, and it's very romantic, and, and the stage direction was, uh, like, Meryn is laughing. And, and so I said to her, like, yeah, it's very easy to make Juno laugh, as you can see. But, um, but you know, I, so I said to her, like, would you, do you want me to, like, tell you jokes? And, and so she said yes. And then I started unleashing really bad jokes. They're not good jokes. No, it started like, off really good, and then they progressively got Progressively got worse. worse. And, like, ruder. And I was starting thinking, like, this is my first day on the film and the producers are all in the tent with headphones on as I barely met any of them yet and just this terrible things were coming out of my mouth <laughs> and first so it was yeah but no it was all fine and it did and it's a really like it's a cute moment in the scene it's yeah um, the, the, now, the joke that this was my favorite, this was oh, gonna favorite. and it's gonna bomb now but no, what did the great. zero say to the eight I like your belt <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of where we started, and then, then it just got horrible. Yeah. 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 Then it ended in the toilet. Mm. Yeah. What? Worse than that. Yes, yeah. absolutely that. Now, Juno, um, you play Daniel's girlfriend in the film. Yes. And you got to participate in Daniel's first male-female love scene. I know. Now, you've well. done a love scene before. Oh. Because when you were in the film Killer Joe, you shot a love scene with... The one and only Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, am I, I'm lucky. So you were an expert. <laughs> Did you give Daniel any advice? Yes, actually. Um, <laughs> before we started to shoot for it, we're both in robes, and he did sort of ask me, like, how does it, how does it go? What's gonna... And I said, I guarantee you, within five minutes of shooting, you're going to be told to place your hand strategically on one of my bottom cheeks. Oh. <laughs> I kid you not, five minutes in, that happened. Yeah. Didn't it? It did. It was, it was and it's one of those moments that, like, you know, we're very lucky because we got on. You know, well. I can only imagine how horrible it would, have to, would be to have to do a scene like that with someone you detested. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. 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 We had a good time. Yeah. 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 But, 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 Daniel, you, um, worked with something that I'm terrified of, which is snakes. Yeah. And I had to face my fear yeah. uh, in the premiere this season of snakes. 
That is There's a photo of me. In a, so that is amazing. That is what well did, done. What did you do? How was it working? I mean, I, I had a, I'm fine with them. I found out like I'm really comfortable with snakes. But Juno actually did kind of a similar thing. Because Juno, I had like a lot of time with that one, but mm -hmm. Juno had one shot with all the snakes. I got oh. so many. And the, the amazing thing about them is how great they feel, which sounds bizarre. Yes. But there's a weight to them. They mm -hmm. have this, this, cool touch, they feel yes. very smooth, something very sensual about them. Yes. And I had a crazy thing happen where one pulled up into my hair and by my ear, oh. and you'd think you'd hear it hissing, but it took a sigh. It actually went oh. <sighs> in my ear. Oh, my and I think God. somewhere in the universe, that's got to mean a good thing. So <laughs> hearing a, a yeah, snake take yeah. a sigh in your hair. You described it the other day as being like a silky ice pack, which yeah, I thought was a great, true. yeah, and mm -hmm. a movable one. Mm -hmm. yeah, sorry. Um, no, no, no. I was just going to say the title of the movie comes from the fact that your character suddenly grows horns. Yes. So what I'll causes that? that. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> basically, um, the, as you say, the, the movie's called Horns. I play um, a guy called Ig who wakes up one morning after the whole town thinks that uh, his his girlfriend has been murdered, and the whole town thinks he's done it. Um, he wakes up one morning after a night of debauchery with horns beginning to come out of his head, and he has no explanation for why they've got there. Um, and the next three days, he he realizes that they can draw confessions out of people and have this kind of power to persuade people to to tell him the truth. Um, and so he uses them to find out who really killed his girlfriend, and also tries to find out why the hell he is becoming the devil. <laughs> so it's Ooh. wild. It's crazy. Ooh. Did you enjoy wearing the horns? I did. Yeah, they're fantastic. I mean, you know, as as head appendages go, they're pretty great. I mean, you can't you kept really. Kept a pair. I kept a pair. Yeah, I did. I don't wear them out, but like I. I kept... <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I, they're, they're great. When when you read a line in the script that says, you know, he has horns, you go, okay, well that's great, but that could go either way, um, visually. And and so I was really relieved when I first saw them. They looked fantastic and they looked kind of cool. And they like they go with anything, as you see there. Like you wear them with a leather jacket. You wear them well. I think they would look great. Or you know. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, great, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> somebody, even, somebody even suggested that we could, like, at Christmas, you could wrap lights around them. Wouldn't that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a little reindeerish, but when we come <laughs> right back with Daniel and Juno, we'll all be getting, quote unquote, horny <laughs> with a little game we're going to play. Don't go away. Before fibromyalgia, I was on the go.